attention. Hey. All right, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. I want to share with y'all the best, the, the very best, I think, handgun that people can get for detailing. Now, y'all know, y'all, as I spoke on before, y'all can go in these neighborhoods where these bad dogs and stuff can be. And these pit bulls and rock wilders and stuff. Uh, you know, especially y'all mobile detailers, y'all pull up in these unknown neighborhoods and these stray dogs come up. You gotta protect yourself. I mean, some of these dogs will literally kill you. And, uh, I mean, cause I seen a girl, like I told you guys in a previous video, I seen a girl get attacked behind my house here. A pit bull attacked her. And, uh, two of them. And they had to rouse I mean, rouse to get that dog, them dogs off that girl. They actually had to put those dogs to sleep. So when you're out there, you got to be protected of dogs and, and stuff out there, guys. Because believe it or not, some of those pit bulls can be very, very dangerous. Um, for no apparent reason. Uh, they got rabies or whatever the case might be. But I think, I think the, be the very best gun to carry and it fits in your pocket is a 380. This is a 380 automatic pistol. It's a nine shot. It's lightweight. It's light as a feather, as you can see here. It's very lightweight. It's got the knockdown power, any nine millimeter, any other thing you have out there. And actually, I think a 380 got more knockdown power than a nine because the bullet is actually fatter, you know. Um, nine millimeter ain't never been now one of my favorite guns. You know, I always liked the 380 better. I don't know what it is. Maybe because the 380 is smaller. I could take this. I could fit this into my pocket. You can't even see it. But when I pull out, and if you want to fire this thing, you got just as much knockdown power out of the 380 as you do a nine millimeter or a 40 caliber pistol. Uh, I mean, the ballistic show, the 380 has just as much or more power than a 9mm. Look at the hole at the end. This thing has some really serious, serious knockdown power. And the advantage of this pistol is lightweight. I can shove this thing in my pocket. I can put it in my coat pocket anywhere. You know, it's light. See, this one here is kind of jacked up now, but I'm just using it for example. As you can see, it's lightweight, and um, it's light as a feather. It's light. It's just lightweight. And this is the gun I prefer. If you guys are going to carry, uh, if you're doing mobile detailing and stuff like that, or just regular detailing, y'all doing a lot of traveling around it's at time to time. I ain't talking like, well, you got to do it every day. You know, just sometimes you go different location to clean a car. Sometimes you go this, this, this house or whoever clean a car beware of stray dogs you know and these this this the best gun i tell anybody a 380 has more knockdown power than a nine millimeter dude you need it it's just as powerful it's just lightweight just very light to carry most of the 380s are small you can get them bigger but Majority of 380 pistols are smaller, and they pack a big punch. I mean, that's what I like about 380. They small, they small, but they pack a big punch though. Look at that hole there, man. They pack a big punch. See, check that hole. They pack a punch. Uh, those big nine millimeter pistols. That's a waste of money. They're too heavy. I mean. Those 40s and stuff like that, um, 45s, waste of money. Like I told y'all about that high point 45 that I own, it's heavy. It's so heavy, you won't have no fun of carrying it. I wish I hadn't bought it after I got it. See, now I'm kind of, I got the gun, but I ain't too satisfied with it. I would rather, I should have bought me another 380 like this, 
something small, compact, packs just as much power. It ain't quite as powerful as a 45. A nine millimeter not as powerful either as a 45. So, no, it's enough. It has enough power as what you need. Now, I would say a 380 is just as powerful as a nine millimeter, but a 380 ain't as powerful as a 45. Once again, uh, a nine millimeter not as powerful as a 45 either. So, they're both in the same category. But with this, you got just as much power as a nine millimeter, but it's just lightweight. Gun is very light, man. And it's small. I can stick this gun right in my pocket. You wouldn't even know I have it in there. That's why I'm going about to buy me a new 380 pistol, guys. 380 is the best gun for carry. Especially if you do a lot of mobile detailing and stuff. Get your 380. Something lightweight. They hit harder than a 9mm. Just as hard as a 40. Get your 380. I'm telling you. They hit hard as a 40, too. It's been proven. There's plenty of um, videos on YouTube showing where the 380 went through the refrigerator just like the 9mm and the, and the 40 did too. So, actually, the 380 made a bigger hole. If y'all don't believe me, the videos on YouTube where the 380 hit harder than both of them did. So, those big guns about to be big blocks. I'm getting away from them big guns. Get your small gun, something lightweight, that pack a punch. Look at there. Look at that hole at the end of that thing, man. Look at that. This thing got some knockdown power. And it's small. That's why I like It's small. I can fit this thing right in my pocket. Those big, oversized guns. That's an old-timey crap, man. Some things, you go weigh you down, you know. I want something that don't nobody know I got it on me. If, I, you know, something would pop off or whatever, you know. You, you don't even know you got a gun on you. I can fit this thing right in my pocket. Watch this. Boom. The gun sitting in my pocket. No one know I even got it. Pull right out. It's easy. You know? Very lightweight and powerful than a 9 millimeter. I'm trying to tell you guys, it's the best gun for auto detailing for you guys to carry, protect yourself from dogs and all that kind of stuff. Cause believe me, these pit bulls will kill you out here. I seen the tackle girl back here, and it wasn't pretty. And they had to put the dogs to sleep because I don't know whether the dog was just crazy or had rabies or whatever the case might be, but they had to put them to sleep. So when you mobile detailing out here, stray dogs, a dog might have rabies or something, get you something small and compact that's more powerful than a 9 millimeter. And just a pop as a 40. Hit that subscribe, y'all. Till next time, the best gun it is. I'm out. Peace.